Hi there. Today I've come up with another tutorial on how to create accordions for your website with the Pine Grow Web Editor and by using Pine Grow Interactions, a green sock powered visual editor for web interactions. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to prepare the layout for the accordion and later add interactions for opening and closing the accordions. The end result of what we are going to achieve is that we should see clickable headings with plus icons on the right. When clicking on the headings, it should reveal the related content. Clicking again should also close or hide the content. On the right, you can also see the plus icon becomes a cross when the accordion is open. We are going to handle all this with PineGrow interactions and you will see how easy it is to implement these interactions without writing a single line of code. Now we just need the layout and we've already prepared a starter project with the layout built for an accordion. If you wish, you can download the starter web page without the interactions and follow along with this tutorial. The link is provided in the video description. So let's get started. Open the starter project and begin building amazing interactions with the PineGrow web editor. We've already prepared the layout for you to jumpstart this project, but I'm going to describe how the layout is prepared for an accordion. On the starter web page, you can see the top two texts. The first one is the title, and the second one is some random text. These are just sample text and have no relation to our accordion block. The blocks below that are the accordions, and it has a parent block as well. Let's open the tree panel to better see this. You can see that there is a section element with dot accordion class name. This is the main parent block, and all the accordions are placed inside this block. This helps separate all the accordions and also allows you to apply different backgrounds or any CSS styles as needed. Now our accordion section has multiple accordions. Each has a class name accordion dash dash item. This is our main accordion block which contains the main contents of the accordion. If you want more accordions you can just duplicate this block and change the contents. Inside each accordion dash dash item block there are two main blocks, accordion dash dash header and accordion dash dash content. The header is actually the clickable block which will trigger the content block to reveal and hide. Just for clarification, the header block contains the title text and the icon to toggle open or close, and the content blocks will have any content you put in. So the layout is very basic and there is no CSS applied except to the header block. The header block has only the minimal necessary CSS. So you can use the same layout to create accordions for your project and style as you need. Okay, now let's add interactions to these layouts and make it work like accordions. Our content block should be hidden when the page is first loaded and it should be revealed by clicking on the header block. Let's go to the tree panel and select accordion dash dash content block on the first accordion. Go to the interactions panel, go to the action list and click on hide at start. This will hide the block as the page loads but you can see there is a blank space now. So to hide it completely we will apply another interaction. Go to the action list and click on interactions. The interaction setting should appear. On Trigger, go to Page Load and select Load Immediately. We can leave the target blank. By default, it is the selected element. On Animation, click on Custom Animation and the Timeline Editor should appear. Now on the Timeline Editor, click on the blank space to create a new transition. For Edit Transition, select Set for Type. For position, enter 0. Click on Add Property, go to Not Animated CSS, select Display. On Display, select None. Now if you refresh the page, you'll see our selected accordion dash dash content block is now completely hidden. Let's add one more thing. Click on Add Property, go to Transform, and select Y. For Y, enter negative 20 picks. 
Now that our content block is hidden, let's add an interaction to our accordion dash dash header block. On the tree panel, select accordion dash dash header. Go to the actions list and click on interactions. The interaction settings should appear. For trigger, select click on. Leave the target blank. This time there will be multiple targets, so we will set them on the timeline editor. For animation, select custom animation and the timeline editor should appear. On the left side of the timeline editor, click on selector and select edit selector. A pop-up should appear where we can manually enter any element on the page. We can even select the parent element of the selector. For that, we enter the caret symbol as a prefix. So let's enter caret dot accordion dash dash item pipe dot accordion dash dash content. This means that we are targeting the content block of the same parent of the header block that we will be clicking. Now press OK. On the right side of the timeline editor, click on the blank space to create a new transition. Click on the transition bar and a pop-up should appear. For edit transition, select set for type. For position, enter zero. Click on add property. Go to not animated CSS, select display. For display, select block. Now create another transition. Click on the transition bar. For edit transition, leave the type as tween. For position, enter zero. For duration, enter 0 0.2. Click on add property, go to opacity, select auto opacity. For auto opacity, enter one. Again, click on add property, go to transform and select Y. For Y, enter zero pix. Now if you refresh the page and check, you can test the click interaction by pressing the Alt key on the keyboard and clicking on the element. Now press the Alt key and click on the first accordion header block. You should see it reveal on the first click, but then repeat the same animation after the first click. To solve this, we can enable an option which will reverse the animation on the second click. Go to the same interaction settings and click on Advanced Options. Then enable Alternate Forward and Reverse. Enabling Alternate Forward and Reverse also gives you another option to set the Speed Up on Reverse option. This lets you set how fast the animation should run in reverse. Right now I'm leaving it as its default, but you can play with it and see what you prefer. Now check the interaction again. Press the Alt key and click on the first accordion header block. Now the first click reveals the content and another Alt click will hide it. Now we have a plus icon on the header block. Let's animate it and make it look like a cross when the accordion is open. For that, go to the same timeline editor as for the accordion dash dash header. On the left side of the timeline editor, click on add timeline. For selector, go to image element and select accordion dash dash icon. Now create a new transition. Click on the transition bar and a pop-up should appear. For edit transition, leave the type as tween. For position, enter zero. For duration, enter 0 0.2. Click on add property, go to transform and select Rotation Z. For Rotation Z, enter 45. Now, Alt-click on the header again, and you should see the plus icon change to a cross icon. So now we've implemented actions for our accordion, but I've only done it for one block, because we can easily implement the same interactions for multiple elements. Let's see how to do that. We have our accordion dash dash header already selected. From the actions list, select apply to many. Now for the apply to many 
Target, click on Edit Selector. On the pop-up field, enter dollar sign dot accordion dash dash header and press OK. Now on the tree panel, select accordion dash dash content. From the actions list, select apply to many. Now for the apply to many target, click on edit selector. For the pop-up field, enter dollar sign dot accordion dash dash content and press OK. Now save and refresh the page and you should see all the accordion contents are hidden. You can click on any accordion header and it will open the respective accordion content. This concludes our tutorial for creating accordions with PineGrow interactions. I hope the video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us via email or through the PineGrow forum. We will be coming up with more videos related to PineGrow interactions and how-to videos for creating more interactive animations, so keep watching and following. Thank you for your time and we'll see you in the next video.